You know how when you're watching football, you're watching Lions play, and you see the pass is incomplete, and you see it might be contact, but you can't tell, and you're happy, but you're just waiting to see yellow. Right. You just before you get happy, you like three, four seconds. Is there a flag? No flag. Yes. That's how I felt <laughs> watching that block. I saw him get it, but it was so bang bang in the moment. There's no way you can tell. To this day, they show mm. this moment, and it's, it's the Reggie Miller block, mm -hmm. the, the the rundown. Like we, every time you see the NBA, they when they show highlights, and there's certain highlights that just stick for <laughs> years and years and years, and that's one of the highlights that stick. The way you got it, and like a, a second late, or you know <laughs> what I'm saying, like if you was a, a step smaller, right, right, right. It was it was right there. When I be hearing guys talk about them winning a the championship, they always say, "Man, you got to come together. We got to play together, but you got to have a little bit of luck too." Mm -hmm. So, yeah. explain us that block and that that special play. Yeah. So, like, you know, obviously that game was. I think it was the most blocks in playoff history in that that game overall, both teams. Crazy. But y'all remember it back then, right, man? The score is always in the 60s, man, when you talk about yeah. two of the best defensive teams in the league. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, one of my things that I always done in, in games, especially as Rip and Chauncey was like our heavy dominant perimeter scores, I would always try to figure out what can I do to balance out the perimeter. Right. right. So it was always defense, always rebounding, always trying to get extra possessions, always just trying to do the little things. Once they kick it to me, make an open shot. Mm -hmm. Like that was my role early on. Yeah. And so anytime Chauncey would drive or rip, come off his curls and shoot, like there wasn't many times I would crash the offense. Yeah, you know, yeah, I would yeah, always be the first guy back. Yeah. Right. So when the ball went in the backcourt and Chauncey knew he was faced up against the shot clock, at this point, I already know he's about to try to get to the basket. Mm -hmm. um, so my mindset is to see what happens beforehand, but know like I gotta get back. I gotta I'll go. Be the first man back. And it was just it was a perfect situation for me just because it was Reggie Miller, and y'all know Reggie mm -hmm. Miller didn't like the dunk. Yeah, right. You know what I mean? So that played in my mind the whole time as I'm chasing him down. I, okay, one, I know he doesn't like the dunk. So now by that happening there's a pretty good chance I'm not going to foul him. Yeah. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So mm -hmm. the way it all planned out, I knew I was going to get it. It was just a matter of time if I was going to catch it before it would be goaltended. Yeah, before it hit the back. You know what I mean? Like I had done that way before that moment yeah. in other games in mm -hmm. college and high school. Like I done it all the time. So yeah. it's clockwork when that happens and I'm in that moment. No, the question was, yeah, I was just going to be able to go yeah. get it. So <laughs> I, I just want to talk about this block. And everybody in the chat, let me know who remembers that play. Like who was around for that play? Who was around for that game? Like who was around for that for that era? Let's talk about it. I want to see my my old heads in the in the chat. I can't forget it because I fell off the couch when it happened. So here was my reaction though. My reaction was this: when he went and got it, right? When he chased him down and went and got it, because I remember the whole play. It was a pick and roll. She rolled the basket pass. He tried to dunk on Jermaine O'Neal and he partially blocked it, and I sent the ball way into the to the backcourt but it didn't it didn't hit rim it just went over the rim so she Chauncey had to go get it and he had about he looked at the clock and so he had about seven seconds left so he tried to go to the basket you know really quick but Jamal Tinsley stripped him you know that's when Reggie leaked out so as he as Tayshawn is I see Tayshawn on the top left of my screen <laughs> of my TV trying to get over there I'm thinking he might be able to get it when he gets when he gets there and he blocks it you know how when you're watching football you're watching Lions play and you see the pass is incomplete and you see it might be contact but you can't tell and you're happy but you're just waiting to see yellow right you just before you get happy you're like three four seconds is there a flag no flag yes that's how i felt <laughs> watching that block i saw him get it but it was so bang bang in the moment there's no way you can tell so which is a great a great call by the ref to not call that goat 10 in the moment by the way but i was just thinking when he got there like Yes. Okay, they didn't call it, and that's another. Okay, okay, we're good. It was just so crazy watching that in the moment, bro. Because I literally thought they were gonna call Golden because it's us. It's just out of you know. I, at that time, it was the opposite us though. Because at that time, the 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 league realized that you know us and them were defensive minded teams. 
Yep. So you seen Ben Wallace get respect on, you know, the offensive files, uh, 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 taking charges and things like that. You, the Pistons were known for that. So I think that played a huge part in why that ref was like, okay, okay, that's a block. You know, what I'm okay, saying? that's a block. This is what they do. This man just ran from three quarters court away, right? Caught up to this guy and went and got that ball. The original so LeBron block. Did, did, a, <laughs> did a great job, man, because you got to recognize great moments in this league. Yes. As a referee, yes. you can't ruin them. 100%. He, he, he just didn't ruin that one, man. And it, it was man, one of the greatest things I ever seen and on the uh, TV screen. If I'm not mistaken, there was no review back then. No. There it was, was what they said, and that's just what it was. This didn't exist. Mm -hmm. Y'all see players doing this? This didn't exist. So a lot of refs have it a little bit easier now. They can call a play now, right? They don't have to. It's not as much pressure on them because they can rely on that. This is a Eastern Conference Finals game, yep. playoff game, yep. and you don't have replay. So for him to not call that changed the trajectory of that series in in history because we were already down one game that series. They make that shot, they can go up two zip. This was also a great point here. Because not only yeah. in the pocket, he kept it in bounds. Exactly. That's the underrated part. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That's the very underrated part. That is. Good point, Ricola. Good point, for sure. That is a great point. <laughs> and it's crazy because it was close to going out of bounds. It was close. When Rip caught it, he was right on. He was tiptoeing the line when he caught it. So that was a fortunate play for the Pistons. The whole thing. The fact that he got there in time. The fact that he even recognized what was happening. In real time, mm -hmm. the fact that he got there in time, the fact the ref didn't call it a goaltend, and the fact that he kept it in by all those things needed to happen in order for us to win that game. So if we we have had a lot of a lot of bad luck in our history, but that's yeah. one of the ones I'm I'm taking. I'm taking and kind of putting under my cap. Because yeah. that's something that we really can say kind of worked out in our favor. I just wanted to say this to Jacob, man. I was in the twelfth grade. It was the greatest year. Woo! My entire life. Me too, bro. Senior year, like other than my kids being born and getting married, all that stuff. Like that was probably the best year. Graduating the year your team wins a championship great. is nothing like it. I, You're I literally on great, cloud nine. The greatest June. That yeah, I ever had. it was the yeah. greatest June that I ever had, bro. Yes, that was <laughs> that was one of the best gifts I got was winning the championship the year we graduated. That was. That was amazing, man. Dress up, bless up, step up and get it. Lace up, face up, I'm here to win it. It's for my city and the team coming with me. Headed for the championship, even if the road is long. Legends pave the way for us. Legends see nothing in this world can take it from us. Don't I